Hey there, Potters. So this episode is more of an organic episode. Uh, long story short, I used to make really big pieces, about two feet tall plus, and sell them to private collectors, or fans of my work on the side, and I stopped doing that about two years ago after the virus kind of took hold of the literal planet. So I decided to go to another ceramic shop because my wheel doesn't have the power and capability to center 25 pounds of clay straight out of the bag and test my skills just to make sure that I can still do this process. Um, so this is just a video of me centering without wedging 25 pounds of clay and pulling it all the way to about half of the project. You'll most likely get another video of me putting the other piece of this composite on the top of this project. But for now, I just wanted to show people because I get some requests sometimes of like, what does it look like when you center 25 pounds or very large pieces of clay? Truth be told, it's a lot of prep work. I usually spend a very long time wedging or centering and preparing the clay to be thrown. And I'm very happy about this one in specific because when you pull the clay body, if the cylinder ends up nice and even on the top, or at least mostly even, that kind of tells you you did a good job of preparing the clay to be worked in this manner. And in the middle of the video, you see that it was a pretty good cylinder. So I'm fairly happy with it. I just wanted to share this experience with you. Hopefully you guys like this video. Remember to leave a like. This is more of an organic thing. So just grab a cup of tea, relax, and just, you know, watch the process. At the end of the video, I will give you a good look on the inside of the cylinder so that you can see how clean it is or my finger lines and you will see the high majority of uh, the workability of how I got to this height and centering this clay. I did not skip around that much. So as always, thank you for your viewership and I hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you at the end.